Hi, my name is Kim Parker from Plumline Solutions. Your objective today is to learn how to deploy the web apps delivery. We will be configuring Microsoft Dynamics SL to prep for the web apps deployment. Then we will deploy the delivery. Once the deployments are completed, we will configure Microsoft Dynamics SL for web apps. Please ensure you have completed the prerequisite install requirements located in the web apps deployment guide for web services and the web apps before deploying the web delivery. The first thing we're going to do is ensure your user is associated with the project employee. In this example, we're going to use the project employee ID E01202. We want to associate them with a web user. In this example, the user ID is the user web user 10. Next, we want to look at the user maintenance screen. This is our web user 10. Notice we have a Windows user name. The shared services is the domain piece in this example and the username web user 10. You don't have to use groups, but groups um, make it easier when you assign access rights. So here is the group managers. And as you can see, our web user 10 is in that group. So when we come back after the web apps deployment and assign access rights, we're going to do it to the group ID managers. The next thing you have to make sure you have a trusted user. In this example, we have a trusted user already defined. Shared services, again, is our domain name and web user is our username. When we deploy web apps, it will ask for an identity, and this is where the trusted user is the same as the identity field. There are other items that you need to configure based upon your company. Please also refer to the Web Apps Deployment Guide under the configuration for Microsoft Dynamics SL for those items. Couple things to mention. The server that we'll be deploying on today is a Windows 2008 R2 Service Pack 1. If you use multiple servers, you'll want to ensure that you'll deploy it on the SL server. Today, we only are using one server. So we want to open up our build, go to the delivery folder. The first thing that we want to deploy is web services. So we're going to right click and run as administrator in this example. Okay, we can overwrite an existing web service site as we're going to do in today's example. If we wanted to select a new site, we would just overwrite the name here. The port number it is already on is 444. You'll want to reserve port 443 for your web apps deployment. It already defaults my certificate in here for me. If I was going to have a new site name, it, we, it would have the drop down enabled and then I could pick which one I wanted. Also note that your web service cannot be deployed as a subsite. So we're going to go ahead and se select this and I, I want to say I want to deploy. I'm going to overwrite. And here you'll have all your list of web services available through Microsoft Dynamics SL. I want to deploy all of them, so I'm going to click Next. Now it's going to verify that it was deployed correctly. If there was an error, a box would pop up with the error, and you could go and fix that error. Maybe IIS wasn't running, and you could go correct the problem and then come and re-verify again. And I want to test out my link here. And it'll come up. Uh, you can go ahead and test these links to make sure you don't get an error, and it looks like we're good to go. A little tip here, when you deploy web apps, it'll ask you for the URL for your web services. So I usually just copy this portion is what it wants. I'll just copy that now, and then I can go ahead and paste that in once I get to my web apps delivery. Okay, so now we want to exit. Okay, now we're ready to deploy web apps. So we'll do the same thing, right click, run as administrator. Here we'll get our 
license or EULA as it's called. We want to accept that. Okay, we don't have a site set up for this yet. If, if we did, we could have a pick from a drop down box. Let's see, we're going to call it SL Web Apps. So, SLWA. Now your physical location is where all your files are going to be deployed to, so that can be wherever you define. Today's example is I am going to create a new folder called SLWA and select that. Notice 443 defaults for the port number, and that's the one I want. Your certificate were default. If I had multiple ones and I wanted to pick it, I have a drop-down box. So here I want to click Next. Same thing with the app pool. I could just pick a default one. In this example, I want to select a different one. Here's your identity field. Remember, we talked about that earlier. That's the same as your trusted user. So let's just put in our password here. It'll confirm your password. Click Proceed. Okay. Remember earlier I said it was going to ask for the web service location. Here's where you want to put that in. So we're just going to paste that in. And it lists all the web services that are, have, were deployed earlier. So we'll click proceed. And we're going to verify just like we did the web service deployment. Okay, here we have our URL. We'll click on, make sure we can get to it. Okay, it brings on our login screen. We can't log in yet because we have to assign access rights, but we, we know we can get to it. So we can close this now. And we can exit because we have successfully deployed web apps. Before we assign access rights for web apps, we need to run a couple SQL scripts. So we got SQL Management Studio here. We're going to open up the first one for the system database. These are also located, as you can see, in the delivery folder of the build. So we'll select this one. Let's run this. Okay, that's good to go. The next one, this app one, we have to run on all our app databases. I happen to have two of them. So I'm going to select my first app database. And run it on that. Okay, now I'm going to select my second one and run that. And I'm good. Okay, we're almost done. And now we want to assign access rights to our group. So let's bring up our access rights screen. Here's our manager group. Let's click preload and select web apps. This will load all the web app screens, and we are going to give access rights to all of them. So we'll copy the checkbox is here to, de to the delete column, a little tip, and you'll see now we have view, update, insert, and delete access rights. And what it, this will do, it'll load the web services in here, but it won't check anything for access rights. So let's save that. And we're going to need to close the screen. What we're going to do now is bring SQL Management Studio back up. Against your system database, you're going to run a procedure, and this is also in the web deployment guide. What this is going to do it's going to look at what web app screens you have access to, and it will automatically check the access box in the web services tab. Okay, so now we ran this, so we're done with that. Let's bring up the access rights menu again, and we closed it, so we'll have to do it this way. And again, we're going to select for group. Our manager group for all companies and you're going to see web services and it checks the appropriate boxes according to the web app rights here okay 
So we're ready to launch web apps. So let's go back up here to our screen. We want to go into Contoso. Our Windows user ID, remember, is our domain and our user ID, which is web user 10. If we want to remember our user ID, we're going to click this box and let's log in. After you click log in, the first menu you're going to see is the Microsoft Dynamics SL menu. We're going to click log in here so we can check our version, make sure that it's correct, and our version is correct. That's all you have to do to deploy the web apps delivery. This concludes our demo for today.